Miss Grace, what kind of round do you have? 22. What kind of round do you have now? 380. What kind of round do you have? 380. What kind of round do you have now? 48, 45. What kind of round do you have now? 22. Miss Grace, if we want to give jobs to our family and friends, what is that called? Autism. If you have a bunch of friends who don't do shit, are they an asset or a liability? A liability. How many people on the registered sex offender list? 750,000. Daddy taught you that you were a goddess, so you could never be anybody's what? Well. Bitch or hoe. Remove your blindfold. Who is Huey P. Newton? An African political actress, a revolutionary who belonged to Bob Seale, co-founded the Black Panther Party in 1966. Who's coming to save you? Nobody. I have to save myself. And if I die today, then what's your job? To pick up where you left off and take care of my siblings. Good job. All right, Shalom, Shalom, Makim. All right, first I have to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, double honest to my apostles and others, a great milestone who rule well and taught me this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there through four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa from Jim and Swahili, North Carolina, come back to you in a quick another lesson to the Supreme Prayer, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And um, as you just saw in the beginning of the video, man, you know, this Jake, man, showing his daughter, man, how to load and unload guns and 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 recite basically vanity, you know. Um, you know, this is just giving Esau another uh, reason to come down on you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, you guys are feeding the fuel to this black identity uh, extremist bullshit, man, that he came up with, man. All right, by doing acts like these, man. All right, when you look onto a uh, Vice, uh, the channel Vice on on YouTube, they recently did a, a Black Identity Extremist uh, little uh, documentary. All right, on on a certain man who got his house raided just because he started a a, a group that will patrol his um, neighborhoods with you know the open carry up in Dallas and all this a bunch of other stuff, man. Um, yeah, but me just seeing this video, man, sparked the uh, this uh, lesson, man. Because then one of the things that this dude is teaching his daughter, man, is that you know that she could save herself. You know, uh, um, you know, um, you know. <laughs> basically, if he died, she'll be she'll be the house, the head of the household. Um, you know, basic carnal stuff, man. Just carnal stuff that's not gonna save you in these last days, man. You know. And he's teaching his, his his children to trust in the, the the sword, man, the gun, which is a which is a form of a sword. But teaching his children trust in the sword, man, that they can save themselves. But when, in all reality, you know, the only person that can save us in these last days is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, all right. So this is a scripture I want to get this because this is the first scripture that that came to mind. This is a uh, Psalms. Chapter 44, verse 6. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. All right? And what's a modern day sword? A gun, you know, you know, or any instrument <laughs> that's for war, man. All right? So, you know, she said, you know, he told his daughter, basically taught his daughter that she could save herself. But even, even you know, the the most, uh, uh one of the uh, most cherished men, all right, <laughs> the one of if you how was heart, all right, the heavenly father's heart, King David, all right, um, even said this man that he won't trust in his bow, all right, his his instrument of war, neither shall the sword his sword save him, all right. So that gun that he's teaching his daughter how to use and all this stuff, <laughs> quite frankly, she probably doesn't even know, you know. You know he's teaching his children, which is you know nothing wrong with that. But you're just fueling the uh, uh, the uh, you know the fire for Esau, man, and and to to come down on you, man. All right, you know, and our people are in in the spirit of doing this, man. When in all actuality, we need to trust on Yahweh by Shema Shai, man, because the Lord is the one that's gonna save us in these last days, man. All right, your sword is not gonna save you, man. All right, mind you, Esau, you got these guns and stuff. But Esau got weapons they're 20 20 30 40 years in advance 
than the guns that you have, man. So, you know, no, you're not going to save yourself, man. All right. We read down to um verse seven it says, but thou hast saved us from our enemies. And who's thou? The thou that King David was talking about is Yahweh by Shimei All right. It says, but thou hast saved us from our enemies and have put them to shame that hate us. Okay. So who's going to come and save us, man? Yahweh. Hashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai is the one that's gonna save, man. You're not gonna save yourself, man. All right, how are you gonna save yourself when you couldn't save yourself from getting on going to hardcore bond of slavery, man? All right, all right, you couldn't save yourself from that. So what's what's gonna make you think you could be saving yourself from Esau Eden when his his blessing was the sword, man? Are you gonna try to fight against him with the sword? This is it's you know straight madness, man. You know. These people don't know a goddamn thing, man. And if they would listen to the men of the Lord, you know, they would know not to do these things to 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 fuel the fire for Esau, man. All right. Well, ultimately, this is you know prophecy, okay. You know, this is fulfilling the prophecy because what Esau is supposed to come down with great wrath, man, upon our people, man. Okay. You see, um, let me get that real fast. This is Revelation. Chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil, or right, which devil just means deceiver, all right, and the devil that's on the face of this earth is a so called white man, all right, Esau Edom, all right, greatest deceiver on this planet, all right. It says, For the devil has come down unto you. Having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right, and really he's coming down on great wrath because he see the men of the Lord rising up, and so he created the black identity extremists to really get the men of the Lord. But you, you niggas are fueling the fire for this, um, um, for this devil to come down on you, man. All right, teach you, you know, best believe he's labeled on the list, man. So. When that time comes, your, your door gonna be kicked down, buddy. All right, with you and your children, man, you ain't gonna be do, you ain't gonna be able to do shit, man, and you ain't gonna be uh, able to uh, save yourselves in that day, man. Okay, you, know, you got only only way people are people gonna be saved, man, is through your how about shit, All right, and that's it. No one else shall save you in that day. Okay, all right. Let me see. Um, yeah, kind of. And another reason why, <laughs> hey man, this the days that's coming, you're not gonna be able to save yourself because it's gonna be like no other man. It's gonna be worse than every other situation that we ever been in. And according to prophecy, like I said, you, you we weren't able to redeem ourselves, man, to save ourselves out of slavery. So how much more when the Lord has prophesied Jacob's trouble? All right, you're not gonna be able to be saved, be saved up out of it unless you're part of the elect of the nation of Israel, one hundred forty four thousand and one third. Okay, it says, this is Jeremiah 30, verse 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. All right, so that day is going to be, a, you know, <laughs> one a, a remarkable day, all right? Time of Jacob's trouble, it says, It's even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And who's that he? Talk about the elected the nation of Israel, all right? Starting with 144,000, all right, men. Prophets out there pushing this word on the sincerity and truth, man. They're gonna be saved up out of it and their households also, man. Alright. It says, um and then you got the 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 rest of the one third, which is men and children, men, women and children that believe and our friends of the prophets, man. Okay. It says, um But the but he shall be saved out of it, all right? And let's talk about the elect. Now when you go to Daniel's the book of Daniel. 12 and 1 says the same thing. It says the day of 12 and 1 and at this and at that time shall Michael stand up. All right, Mark, Michael is the archangel. All right, one of the head angels under Yahweh Shai. All right, it says the great the great prince would stand it for the children of thy people, which is the Israelites. Okay, and there shall be a time of trouble 
such as never since there was a nation even to that same time. All right, so this is going to be a horrible time, man. You ain't going to be able to save yourself up out of it, man. Unless you have the elect, you will not be saved, man. So you telling your daughter, are you telling your children that, oh, yeah, you can save yourselves? You're lying to your children, man. All right, because in that day, if they, if you are not part of the elect, you won't be saved, man. You'll be, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, you'll be uh, designated to a certain destruction, man. All right, it says, it says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, all right, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. Every single one of the elect will be saved, okay, but. Yeah, they be saved and delivered, but if you're not part of that number, no matter how much you tell your children, you know, that, oh, I can save myself and you can save yourself, it's not going to happen, man, all right? It's not going to happen, man, all right? Because you trust in your sword instead of trusting your how about you, man, all shy, man, all right? Which is <laughs> a, a, a a great uh, um, mistake, a grave mistake, man, all right? One, the one mistake you don't want to make, man, all right? Those who don't trust in Yahweh Hashem will not live. All right, all right. Those who don't seek Yahweh Hashem won't live. All right. Let's see. Um. Get this. Sucky. I know it's somewhere. Probably. Let's see. Somewhere. Can't hear this. This is Amos five and four. Thus saith Yahweh unto the house of Israel, talk to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. All right, so if you seek Yahweh by Shema Shai, you, you're going to live, man. Which the elect are going to be seeking after Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, in his mercy, okay? All right, seeking after his mercy, okay? It says, um, I'm jumping down to verse 6. It says, Seek Yahweh and ye shall live. So the Lord's repeating this again. All right, seeking Yahweh by Shema Shai, trusting in Yahweh by Shema Shai, okay? It says, Lest he break out. Like fire in the house of Joseph and devour it, and there be none to quench it in Bethel. Okay, so you know, basically, come to Yahweh Shem Al Shai, or you go to die, man. All right, that's 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 basically what that's exactly what it's saying, man. All right, come to Yahweh Shem Al Shai, or you'll die, man. Okay, you know, or trust the Yahweh Shem Al Shai, or you will die, man. <laughs> All right, so you know, just you know, just showing you. This video, hey man, our people need to get out this vibration. Also, we know that the elect of the nation of Israel will get out of it, and the two thirds of the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Confucian faces who long go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, that they won't turn back and they'll be destroyed, man. But the elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to turn back, man, and right, trusting how about Shema Shai and not trusting their sword. So, I hope this, ed this video is edifying to brothers, man. And, you know, just showing you that our people are feeding into the, the narrative that Esau wants them to be fed and uh, uh, f feed them into, you know, um, and stuff like that, fitting the narrative. And it's really all to uh, bring down the men of the Lord from out there in the highways and byways, which is prophecy with the family of the word, man. So with that, um, I'd like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukakadash. Double honest to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who will will and tell me the truth. And shout out to all the brothers out there to the four corners of the earth pushing this word in all wretchedness and sincerity. Shout out